first and foremost, I, I wanted to get to uh, some things that's been going on in the media cycle with uh, mm-hmm. Cat yeah. Williams and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and the bombshell interview that he did with Shannon Sharp. Love him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I think Detroit want to know this. I'm, I got. Can I ask my question? All right, yeah, you go ahead. You made a post on Instagram, right? Yeah. And um, I think Detroit want to know. You said, uh, "No matter what they say, the Most House put me where I am." Mm-hmm. Period. Never did nothing strange for a piece of change. Now, uh, <laughs> brother, can you clear that up for the city of Detroit? I mean, you know, you, I got to clear. It's it a up. lot of shit that be going on in Hollywood. You know, niggas be wearing the dresses and shit. We just want to know, man. What did you mean by that? Mm. Let me tell you this. First of all, I, it's so funny because Denzel always told me we'd be at the parties. He said, you leave leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and, and when he would say that, I will always remember that Denzel would leave the parties early. Mm. And I follow Denzel out. I'm out. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because when you leave 30 minutes for the devil get there, it ain't nothing wrong with going to the parties. Even Christ. Party with the sinners, you know what I mean. Mm. But when you when you leave thirty minutes for the devil get there, you know you able to have your integrity. I meant mm. off screen. It's not what you do on screen. What you do off screen is more important. You know, I've mm. never ever had to sell my body sexually mm. for any roles. Mm. God covered me, and never have any studio head came on to me sexually or or you know I know that happens in the industry. Never had that happen to me. When I got the audition for my films, I read, I prayed, I fasted. You know what I mean? I fasted for my roles. You know what I mean? And uh, I didn't fast for Big Mamas, but <laughs> 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 but uh, every role I've done, you know, but even though God was directing my path and he directed me to do these things to come out stronger, mm. he lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Mm. You know what I mean? That If you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I can't fear evil. Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. Pre-Big Mamas, to me, I have, I, actually, it's like, a, you know, you have an AD. You're like AD, BC. Okay. It's like BM for me. My career pre-BM. So Big Mama was a changing point. Yeah. 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 What it made like it a, a changing point? Was it that it was Martin or just everything was aligning up at the right time for you? It was a negative changing point, to be honest. Okay. Positive in a way where the perception of, of my image was on every bus, but my personal life was, was in shambles in that time. It was horrible. Well, you want to expound on that? What do you mean? like? If I was a stand-up at the time, season like I am now, I could tell the story. Mm-hmm. And that's the, it, that's the issue. It's like, how are you able to tell your story? The most, mm-hmm. most elegant way, eloquent, saying it in an eloquent way. I couldn't say what I was going through because it's almost like, like you know, if you're a baby, you can't communicate yet. And I was, I just wasn't fully uh, a seasoned stand-up to be able to say what I was going through. But in a retrospect, if I can say what I was going through, uh, at the time when I did Big Mamas is when I met uh, not my wife, my daughter's mother. And, and um, from that time, it's like my life was just, it, 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 it was hell from there. My personal life was in shambles, but my career, it was at the, at its at at its height, I believe. As at, at it was right. it was going. It was kind of like a passing of the torch, in a sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was, it was. And I played Martin's son, and um, I feel like that. It's so weird. It's like every time I play these sons of people, it never goes right. What didn't go right with Big Mamas? It was. First of all, no offense, that movie wasn't that good to me. It wasn't a prolific film. Um, I sound so mean, like, oh, you should be grateful for it. But I'm real. You know, you should be real. Like, it wasn't, like, the best movie. It was, a, it was, a, okay, it was an entertaining film. Number one, Big Mama's one, that's arguably, like, okay, Miss Doubtfire was out. But the whole dress bit was already overdone. You know, it was, like, it was hacky, you know? And I did it, for, I did it purely for the money and the work of Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So I didn't do it for the purity of comedy, but I did it for the purity of work with Martin. But I believe that it wasn't. It was still more than money. Like, damn, I'm gonna get a big check, you know. Yeah. And knowing you now, and I'm gonna kind of uh, set this question up. But in knowing you now, there's a more of an awakened Brandon mm-hmm. compared to when he first came into the business. Uh, you mentioned the dress. It's a big conversation yeah. about that. Did you get like slack? When you wore the dress at that moment? 
it was like wasn't slack from people. Only Cat Williams. Cat Williams was trying to always say, Brandon, Brandon, don't wear a dress. <laughs> you know, he called you or is this? No, he was saying it in the media, so I thought he was heckling me. He was really trying to help me at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why I'm trying to uh, trying to make it. Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me, you know, don't get in the dress. So the awakened brand and you couldn't pay him a trillion dollars to get in the dress. Yeah. Was there like um how did they present that? Well, you knew right away you had to get in the dress. I did this I did the scene on lottery ticket. Okay. That scene on lottery ticket. After that, they were pushing his dress on me. It was something about that scene that touched a lot of people, and I thought I think I was too real. I think they did the same thing like to Tupac. When they you too real, they start looking at you like, hold on, how'd this slip past us? Who's this guy? You know what I mean? And then it's like, you know what? Yeah, he might be a kid. Just put him in the dress. What do you think the dress is about? Is it to to tone us down, to tone that realness down? Is I it think to- the dress. Personally, um, it's a thing that was, 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 was not in our culture to do. And I think everybody will want to put their culture on us. And no, not to hate your culture or your God. Mm-hmm. If your God say you can put on a dress and your culture is normal for you, that you have the right as a human to choose that. But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. Yeah. So I was cursed by it. I believe it was a curse that went with that personally, because nothing went right since then. That's truthful. No one can tell me, hey man, you think it too much, man. You see that, man? Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. I'm telling you, I lived it. Yeah. Is there any like. Uh, Even with Martin, things went wrong when he did it too, because Martin is very anointed. Martin is a very okay. strong man. And Stage Spell said that too. He says things about that too. And something, if you look at Martin's Arsenio Hall interviews, you look at him now, something's changed, you know? Yeah, well, Martin, uh, I, I noticed it's that, too. It's not a shot, but something's changed. No, he definitely had, like, a lot of fire behind his, a lot of energy. He's got similar to he's me. Gotten, he's gotten older, but I don't think he's gotten that old. Eddie Murphy's old. He still has a fire to him, too. Um, I don't think it's an age thing. Yeah. I mean, my dad has a fire. He's almost You seven. think maybe it was more of the business that kind of just, it... it Took so much out of him. Honestly, I think it's a spiritual thing, but I, everyone has their own journey. Mm-hmm. I can't say what it is. I don't know. I think, you know, for me, I can only speak for my journey. Once I put the dress on and I had that fire, that fire was put out. Yeah. And I only did it one time. So imagine doing it three times, four times. But then Tyler Perry did. He got stronger. I don't know the rules. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. This what happened to me. I'm not here to knock another brother because that's their path. Yeah. That's one thing I don't do is knock my brothers. Because that's their path. But I'm saying my path, when I put on a dress, it came with a, 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 a demon baby mama and a starter kit for, for hell. That's what happened to me. You haven't seen me since, to be honest. But then I, 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 I feel stronger, though. Would you, like, warn other stand-up comedians about a dress? Yeah, I had an interview, too, where I, 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 would, do it, I would do it eloquently and say I wouldn't wear the dress if... You're chosen, you know, some people can wear the dress, it doesn't affect them, but, you know, um, I don't know, for me it didn't work, so I can say I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise anybody to do it, just who wants to roll that dice. Yeah, and as you look back on it now, you no. kind of would never. If I had a time machine, you know, we was with Marty McFly, I would go back, you know, and punch myself in the chest.